regard to the evolution of homo sapiens you have charles darwin in science giving an, an explanation that it's because of the process of natural selection that the human beings have evolved now this is, seems to be in contradiction with the islamic belief that we have we are the children of adam alay salam now how can this be reconciled this is a very important question no lecture of mine on this topic of quran modern science is complete without this question i have given this talk in various places in canada in usa in uk in saudi never is this topic complete never is the question answer complete without this important question of theory of evolution charles darwin since that poses the question how can you reconcile the quran with darwin's theory of evolution sister i have not come across any book which says fact of evolution all the books say theory of evolution there is no book i have come across saying fact of evolution if you read the book by charles darwin the origin of species it says that charles darwin went on an island by the name of calatropis on a ship named as hms beagle and there he found birds pecking at niches depending upon the ecological niches they pecked the beaks sorry kept on becoming long and short this observation was made in the same species not in different species charles darwin wrote a letter to his friend thomas thompson in 1861 saying i do not believe in natural selection the word that you used i don't believe in theory of evolution because i have got any proof i only believe in it because it helps me in classification of embryology in morphology in rudimentary organs charles darwin himself said that there were missing links he didn't agree with it he himself said that there were missing links therefore if i have to insult someone that if you were present at darwin's time this theory would have been proved right trying to insinuate that he looks like an ape it's a joke we make the reason that this theory in most parts of the world it is taught as good as fact you know why even i was in school i learned about darwin's theory and even today they are taught you know what the reason is sister the reason is because that if you analyze the church the church was against science previously and you know the incidents that they sentenced galileo to death they sentenced galileo to death why because he said certain statements in astronomy etc which went against the bible so they sentenced him to death for which the pope apologizes now so when charles darwin came up with a theory which goes against the bible they didn't they didn't want any sufficient proof an enemy of my enemy is my friend so all the scientists most of them they support the theory because it went against the bible not because it was true they only supported it because it went against the bible all the stages were mentioned sister all the stages lucy there were four hominoids science tells us there were four hominoids first is lucy along with its guide australopithecus which died about 3 and 1/2 million years nice age then next came the homo sapiens we died about 500000 years ago then came the neanderthal man we died 100 to 40000 years ago then came the fourth stage the cro-magnon there is no link at all between these stages according to pp grasse in 1971 who held the chair of evolutionary studies in paris in the shoujo university he said it is absurd we cannot say who are ancestors based on fossils i can give you a list of hundreds of scientists and nobel prize winner who speak against darwin's theory hundreds if you know of sir albert georgi who got the nobel prize for inventing for inventing the vitamin c he wrote a book the crazy ape and man against darwin's theory again if you read sir fred hoyle's work he wrote several works against darwin's theory If you know about Rupert Talbot this person wrote a new theory of evolution against Darwin's theory it's unthinkable you cannot think that we are created from the apes if you know of sir frank salisbury he was a biologist he said it is illogical to believe in darwin's theory if you know about white meat sir white meat he wrote a book 
against David Sey. He was also a biologist. Several, you can give a list of hundreds. Today it is taught in the schools. Why? I told you. Media is in their hands. Otherwise, there is no proof at all. There are certain proofs at lower levels. An amoeba at lower species level, amoeba can change to paramecia. Quran does not say amoeba cannot change to paramecia. Quran does not say. If they have got proof, can be possible. It's not against the Quran. But there is no proof at all. People talk about molecular biology theory. They talk about genetic coding. According to Hansis Craig, who is authority in this field, he said it is unimaginable. Again, if you do that ratio, the probability of one DNA forming from ape to human being is again zero. If I start calculating, I think you will get bored again. You know the calculation I told you for one protein molecule? It is somewhat similar from one DNA. It is not possible at all. You know there was a theory recently that homosexuality is genetic. And when I read in the Times of India, I thought, surely the moment I attend the next lecture on Sunday in IRF, I'll be asked this question. If homosexuality is genetic, how can Allah blame us? Quran speaks against homosexuality. And I said that, see, this is a theory. Wait till it gets established. It's a theory. Don't comment on that. Within the matter of span of this few months, it was proved to be illogical. And the person who propounded this theory that homosexuality is genetic himself was an homosexual. <laughs> Therefore, I said, I'm going to give my talk on scientific facts, not on theories and assumptions. Darwin's theory has not been proven. We have not been created from ape. There are hundreds of scientists who speak against that, and Quran speaks against that also. Quran says the first man was Adam, peace be upon him. Inshallah, they'll discover it hundred years afterwards, or maybe a thousand years afterwards. Today, there is research showing that human beings have been created from one pair. Again, it's just a theory. It supports the Quranic verse that human beings have been created from one pair, male and female. It's just a theory. Therefore, I don't quote that in my talk. Inshallah, it will be established 50 years afterwards or 100 years afterwards. Then we know that Quran conciliates with this part. So far, it's not conflicting. It's not conflicting with established science at all. Hope that answers the question. <laughs>